Well, it's always a good time when you're with Radhika Apte. So, how are you having a good time these days? What's your idea of a good time? Pun not intended. <laughs> A good time is just getting good sleep at the moment, which I'm quite deprived of. So, but yeah, for me, that's the good time at the moment. You've been working non stop. Have you got any downtime? No, I did actually. I took four months off uh, and uh, had a really good downtime. Now, came back, some uh, spontaneous work has come. So, that's, that's what's keeping me busy. But uh, I'm not like I've learned from the last two, three years not to pack myself too much like back too many things at the same time. So I'm hoping after this small phase, it's again going to be quite leisurely. Do you really like that? Are you no. all... Um. <laughs> when I'm not working, I go a bit crazy. So taking four months off in your yeah. industry when everybody gets four more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did you survive it? Um, actually, I was exhausted. I was so exhausted that sometimes I think you just reached a, re I reached a point where I had nothing to give. I'd taken no holiday last year. And I just had nothing in me. So I, it was quite nice, to be honest. And then I got quite comfortable with the holidays. So coming back was a bit difficult. Yeah. And here you are. Um, so, I mean, everybody has a watch on you. Yes. So what or who are you keeping a watch on these days? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, no one, really. I think myself a little bit, <laughs> you know, trying to be have good health and a good, bit of a good routine. Not really succeeding, but trying to. So, I mean, are you one of those people who's perpetually racing against time or for you, time is of the essence or are you one of those people who has her watch 15 minutes ahead of time? No, I, mine is not ahead, but I'm, I am always like running around and constantly like trying to, you know, be on time. I'm, a, I'm very a anal. Can I use the word anal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know what you can use in God. Um, I'm very particular about time. Uh, I, I, I find it very difficult when... Uh, People are not on time for work uh, and uh, or everything. So I, I like to know the time all, all the time that, okay, we're running late, fine. So what time do I need to be there here? Okay, fine. If you see me anytime, anywhere, you'll have a watch. If I'm not wearing one, I'm definitely on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and it has made my life so much better. Very loyal um, ambassador, if I must say. How do you I, survive in an industry that is known to be so tardy with time? Yeah, I get irritated all the time. <laughs> I'm always irritated. My my expression like this, this is my go-to expression, I think. <laughs> so who's the one person you know who says, I'll be there in five minutes, you know, won't be there for five hours? There are many. One. No, I who can't. Who won't take offense? Uh, they will take <laughs> offense, trust me. <laughs> I can tell you the name, but no, I can't. Lots of people, trust me. So it's been, I mean, it's the end of the year, but the last two, three years have been rocking. I mean, an Emmy nomination <laughs> happened. And you're also like the go-to face, as they say, the Netflix girl. I'm not a go-to face, trust me. <laughs> that's just, that's just, they're just there to say. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you've done indie projects, you've done mainstream cinema also, and you've done those web series. So what is it? Is it instinct? You choose projects on instinct or they just come to you? What no, is the it, method? Instinctual, it's, it's instinct. Uh, it, it, you just have to feel excited about uh, doing something and it could be various reasons why you would feel excited. Sometimes it's the content or director or platform, um, you know, and if you're lucky, all of all of that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, it's instinct. And yeah. also I was listening to one of your uh, female co-stars saying that we women never think about how much footage I have. As yeah. long as I've got five minutes, but they're impactful. But there are yeah. many who these days want yeah. to know how much footage do I have? So yeah. How, so. You know, it's very interesting because I have never really thought about uh, how much footage I have as long as the role interests me. And uh, recently something was happening and they were like, why are you being picky about a supporting role? And I said, I have done supporting ro roles most of my life because the main role is always the guy's role, mm -hmm. you know, in most mm -hmm. of the films. So I said, I'm not worried about that. You give me two minutes, but give me something that is going to excite me that I'm going to really look forward to. Uh, so that has been my, always been my um, uh, main thing, in the sense my main idea. So because uh, there's so many films you watch, people have tiny, tiny roles, but they, they are the ones who sometimes make the most impact on you. Um, it's, it's not about, for me, it's never been about uh, fame, I think, and it's not been about stardom. It's been about my personal journey as a person, as an actor, to feel inspired. Uh, so if so, sometimes I've turned down big, big commercial projects. Uh, who they will surely do more than hundred crores because they just have a franchise or whatever it is. 
but I know that I will not feel inspired. I know that I it doesn't excite me in the in the least. And that doesn't make that good or bad. It's just that my uh, it's not my cup of tea. So it's just that really. I think because I just feel that you know I'm not in my early thirties and these are life goes by like this, and I just feel that when you look back, you at least need to have a journey that you chose uh, for specific reasons and a, even a single part or whatever you do needs to bring something to your life, I feel. I agree. Yeah. And also whenever they say Radhika Apte, they say, oh, she is the one who can get bold on screen. But as you once said, that I just do ca play characters who are everyday girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wh why is that image there? Like Radhika Apte is the one who is bold, beautiful comes along with it. But if there is a bold role, she'll do it. So what is the definition of bold? What is I that mindset? Know. that people I, have? I actually don't know because I've not done anything which is, which is like, so path breakingly bold you know what i mean i mean i've played characters which are very relatable very much around us i don't know if it's got to do with nudity very honestly speaking you know what i mean yeah. because I just so, don't, but that's the mindset that's the mindset even if i even if that's not there they just say it's bold bold and i keep wondering to myself like i keep wondering what is bold but i think we've come from a tradition of having very uh, fantastical films right where those people, I don't know where they come from, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I think something more realistic, for example, no makeup was bold for a while, yeah, true. do you know what I mean? And now it's getting more regular. True. But so it, I think it's when you're not following the norm uh, per se, uh, they call you bold. But if you question a norm, uh, anybody will say that it doesn't make sense. <laughs> And also in the Daniel Wellington commercial, you know, yeah. as uh, my producer pointed out, is that you spoke about your fear of ocean and getting yeah. over it. Other than the ocean, which is like the biggest fear you have that you want to overcome? I think I have the fear that everybody has, but I don't know how to, like, it's the longest journey. I'd be a Buddha if I do it. But, <laughs> like insecurity, you yeah. know, I'm, and not just insecurity about work, insecurity in general in life, you know, uh, fighting your ego constantly is like the most I've realized in life sometimes what you're af afraid of the fear is actually more scary than actually facing a situation sometimes you know but uh, yeah just I think I think one of the things I'm most scared of is loss yeah, uh, and I think we all you are, know yeah. we all are I think but that's why I said that it's like it's, it's like the most human things they come from that only I think and moving away from the Indian film industry Emmy what was I mean it was like really path breaking for one of for all of us to have one of our own there. So what was your, did you do a little jig? Was that exciting? It was exciting, but I was in a, on the way to a meeting and I was having a really bad day actually. <laughs> and then Anurag called me, uh, messaged me because he was in some shoot. He said, I'm calling you, I'm calling you. This is what has happened. So I had to Google it twice because I was like, Emmys, which Emmys, what Emmys? Because I was like, what? what? Uh, this is quite exciting. But, uh, huh, I mean, it's exciting. It's I a just, start. Nomination ho gaya. Next time to I order. don't know. That's why, see, this is why I don't take so much excitement. <laughs> uh, like, I don't, because I was like, ho gaya, theek hai. Mila, nahi mila, abhi chhod do. You're on your way to becoming a Buddha. So now you have Shanta Ram with Charlie Han. How is that coming out? Tell us a little more. I have no idea. I'm also waiting to know more. <laughs> to be very honest with you. So I'm actually waiting in a week's uh, time. I'll hope I'll get to know more about everything. Uh, so I'm excited about that. It's a really big project. So let's see how it goes. And what about Noor and I? Uh, the, it happened. It finished last year. Uh, I don't know what's happening with it at the moment. We opened at Edinburgh Film Festival. Um, it was a it, the the character that woman was something else. She was amazing. And uh, so I, it was really amazing to get to know that. And my director Lydia, I love her. Like she is just one of the best human beings I've met. Um, and so many lovely people I met on set and uh, for the first time I was shooting abroad I keep complaining every time I'm shooting it will be either Thane or Haryana I'm like when will I go abroad and shoot you know what I mean I also want to shoot somewhere else I was like shooting in Budapest and Philadelphia I was like okay now I'm happy oh awesome but she was an amazing woman yeah, yeah absolutely amazing so do you have those spy-like instincts in you if there's one person you would want to spy on since she was one? I'm a very good spy. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm a good stalker and a spy. Don't take it literally. I have regretted being a stalker. <laughs> I'm, I'm behaving myself. But what I'm trying to say is that I love that whole detective giri. You know what I mean? Who was the last person you stalked? That I won't tell you. Uh -huh. actually, I, I've just stopped stalking people actually really lately. But um, I remember as a child we used to do those, uh, you know those parties where you used to invite in school, huh? yeah. you invite people and then have games, right? Uh, so I used to make that 
murder mysteries of like this murders happen and put clues everywhere around the house and then people have to play parts and then they have to like find the you murder. You school time. I'm talking about now. Now, now I mean, now I think the social media has made you. Everybody made everybody a stalker. Do you know what I mean? So, um, uh, yeah. So it's just a waste of time. So I'm trying to do less of it. I don't do it much anymore. Yeah, you're not much on social media. I mean, I try not to be. If you're doing nothing, sometimes you just sort of go on it for no reason. Try to make a rule for myself that you go it. And you're one of those people I've seen who does not flaunt her relationship much on social media. Absolutely you and your don't husband, like, so her, yeah. yeah, don't like it. I don't like my personal relationship at display at all because people are too judgmental anyway. And secondly, it's none of their business. And thirdly, people who I'm in a relationship with, whether it's my husband or my friends or my family, uh, they are not necessarily comfortable with it, you know, and yeah, I just don't like the idea of it. So what's happening next now? It's like uh, we've, it's been a fantastic like two, three years for you. Now what's next? What are you looking forward to? Uh, There's a project I'm doing at the moment, a small one. I, I will talk about it when I can. Uh, then uh, hopefully Shantaram will start and uh, there's another uh, series I'm doing. But I haven't signed it, so I can't speak about it. So what do you uh, prefer, movies or series? And there, is a, there are a couple of films that I'm sort of in the pipeline to sort of figure everything out. Let's see. So what do you prefer? The Whichever is good. <laughs> but do you feel with web series as stronger, like content being written for women, which is now actually also kind of transgressing towards the big films. screen? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think so far it has been in certain series definitely. I haven't watched a lot of uh, series, hmm. that Indian series that have come out, actually even foreign recently I've not seen many. The last one I saw was unbelievable. Okay. It was really good, yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. You haven't watched Fleabag? <laughs> oh, of course, but as a past tense. Okay. I love Fleabag. Would you want to do a Desi Fleabag? I think people shouldn't copy, huh. find their own ideas. And you'll also get banned here. No, but <laughs> I think the people shouldn't make those. Exactly. Just do your own like ideas. I don't like uh, good series made into uh, you know whatever yeah okay so um, just quickly as we wrap up what was your first luxury buy my car I think that's the most expensive thing I've bought and that it was not very luxurious <laughs> what time of your life do you want to revisit and why I think just childhood because I, now I realize the importance of a stress-free life <laughs> Don't be all. Oh my god, it was just like there was no stress. Everything was there. In the sense, you know, I mean, the most the stress was whether you're liked by your friends or not. Yeah. And getting a good grade and showing your report card to your parents. Not oh. much. My school was like no exams, no competition. So the m m maximum was that will the guy like me back or uh, something, you know. Do not bad man. Why do I have to choose? Just like that, not people. <laughs> no, no. I can't. <laughs> So anyways, thank you so much. Thank and you. how desi at heart are you? Hmm. When it comes to chart, I'm very desi. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much.